what you were presenting at uh, Fire Race International in 2013. Yeah, um, I was asked to present uh, construction product regulation and CE marking from the 1st of July. The construction product regulation, or CPR, uh, will replace the construction product directive, CPD. Um, the directive was voluntary uh, requirements uh, under various building regulations and countries within Europe. The construction product regulation is more of a regulation, so it's mandatory. So um, everything that has a harmonised standard or uh, ETA, which is a, a European technical assessment, products that fall under those scopes will be mandatory C marking. So the construction products regulation really becomes legal on the 1st of July. So I was just given a presentation on to what they have to do, what they need to look out for, um, where their products may fall into the C marking requirements, uh, what the documentation they have to produce, uh, declaration of performance, DOPs, uh, which for a lot of the industry is probably starting to hear, will be uh, you know, a big, big documents going forward for, uh, for industry. Okay, and obviously the education around the CE marking coming in over the last 18 months while it's been voluntary, has that been extensive enough? Do you think people are really aware of this first of July deadline? Yeah, there's a lot of um, a lot of information gone out over the last 18 months. Uh, with my company started looking at this and visiting clients. Uh, some of the seminars we've had. 100 people, 60 people. Today there's 36. It seems to be now a lot of people have the knowledge. Um, we're picking up people that are uh, having issues that how supply product to market, where do they fall, which are still grey areas. Um, a lot of the documents say you should do this, you should do that. But when you supply the product and an architect wants something different or a specifier wants something different, then you know there are these grey areas which we're trying to iron out for industry. And, and I mean, will there be any enforcement over this? Who, who's going to be uh, enforcing the CE market? The CE market and the enforcing, it's always trade standards, uh, building control, people like that. Um, Department for Communities and Local Governments, who uh, a lot of industry has been working with over the last 12 months, um, understand that uh, the frustration when people are complying and those that aren't complying. So DCLG have been working with trading standards, um, especially an office in Cambridge where they're uh, you know, trying to educate them, this is what you need to look for, this is, you know, it's going to be enforced, it's going to be legal, these people are going to be complying with the requirements, so industry needs to, you know, up, up and get to a level and, you know, you need an enforcer, otherwise people will just carry on doing what they're doing and then that's when big issues with industry, you know, one attacking each other and, and, and then DCLG have to get involved. So yeah, so hopefully trade standards you know, will be uh, will be on, on side with all that.